It's about to get nerdy. Hey guys, it's Scaram here, and today I wanted to show you what I was excited about for 2015 and I guess 2016 as well, because something that I want to show you is coming out um, in just about a year's time. So I wanted you guys just to see what I um, am looking forward to in the future as far as video games and movies go, because if you don't know, I'm really, really into video games. I mean, as that is somewhat obvious, because that's, that's what I post on my channel, but also I'm a very big movie buff. I love watching movies. The only thing is I just hate spending the money to go see a movie, because I'm such a cheap one. Um, anyways, guys, in the background is some ranked play that I got yesterday with some friends, um, and I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing that I am super excited for, and this is coming out in the year 2015, is, of course, Star Wars 7. This is something that I think everybody has been looking forward to since it was announced in, I think, 20, what, 13, 2014, something like that. It's been, an, it's been announced for a long time now um, because we knew that Disney took over the uh, Lucas um, Arts franchise, and um, they announced that they were going to make more movies, three more movies, uh, to add to all the uh, trilogies. So we have been excited for this for quite some time now, and they're finally coming out with trailers for the new movie that should be coming out in, I believe, November of 2015, uh, somewhere around there. No, it's the, actually December of 2015, my bad. Um, so I'm super pumped for that. Cannot wait. I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I've always been, ever since I was, you know, maybe three years old, I would just sit in front of a TV and just watch Star Wars constantly. When I was little, whenever I'd see 20th Century Fox, the logo for 20th Century Fox with the, with the uh, searchlights coming up, I thought it was Star Wars. It could have been a completely different movie, but I thought it was Star Wars because that's how Star Wars opened. Um... So, of course, you know, you can imagine my disappointment when, I, when the movie would start and it wasn't Star Wars. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get into the trailers. If you haven't seen the trailers for these uh, movies and games I'm about to show you, these will all be in the description for you to check out. Um, hopefully you do because it, they're all really good trailers and they're all really, like, captivating and they're really cool. So you really need to check these trailers out if you haven't already. Um, anyways, guys, let's get right into it and let's start with Star Wars number 7. So Star Wars The Force Awakens is set to take place around 30 years after the events of Return of the Jedi, and um, so obviously, uh, even in real life, you know, all of the cast members, all the original cast members are very old by now. Um, as you can see, if you've seen Harrison Ford lately, you probably haven't seen um, what Mark Hamill or Carrie Fisher looks like recently because they just don't really appear that often, but you know, Harrison Ford's in a new movie every year. Uh, or a couple new movies every year, so you're always going to see what he looks like, and he's looking pretty dang old, um, and we also caught a glimpse of him and Chewbacca in the Millennium Falcon, um, in the trailer, in the second trailer, so as of now, he is the only original cast member that we have seen, probably because they're just a little too scared to show what Mark Hamill and Carrie Fisher look like, Han Solo has kept himself together a little bit, while Mark Hamill and Carrie Fisher look like they have let themselves go just a little bit, so guys, sorry, but no more Slave Leia, that's just not gonna be, you know, something that you can think about anymore, uh, Slave Leia is a thing of the past, although they have brought in a new character that will kind of be taking over the Princess Leia role, as I'm guessing, uh, I'm thinking that it might be the daughter of Han Solo and Princess Leia, um, if you've read any of the books, which I've only read, like, one of the books, because it was back when I was in elementary school, um, you know, that, that's a little bit nerdy, guys, but, yeah, when I was in elementary school, I did read one of the Star Wars books, and, um, it did have Han Solo and Princess Leia with two kids, a daughter and a son, so we will probably be seeing both of those in the movie, and we have already seen a woman figure who is actually a very pretty woman, who is most likely the daughter of Han Solo and Princess Leia. So that's that's that uh, person is probably going to be filling the role of the Princess Leia role um, since Carrie Fisher is probably going to be, you know, more of a, um, I guess, not really much of a side character. I want to say a side character, but she's going to be, um, you know, just a mother figure more than anything, more probably a little bit more of a politician instead of, you know, what she used to be in the old movies. Um, I'm guessing that Mark Hamill will probably still have, Mark Hamill and, um, or Harrison Ford will probably both have their, you know, original roles as Mark Hamill being, you know, a, a Jedi, you know, obviously with his, you know, slower take on things and, um, and Harrison Ford as Han Solo just kind of running into danger and just seeing what happens, um, and so we'll probably see them taking over those roles again because we did see um, 
Han Solo when he was in the Millennium Falcon holding his gun. So it does show that he's probably going to be, you know, in a more of an action role as well. Um, but although I'm not expecting to see too terribly much of the original cast members, what I'm thinking is that they're, they're probably going to make their appearances in the beginning of the movie. And then as the movie goes on, we're going to get into the new characters and the new characters gonna t- are going to take the spotlight. And the old characters are going to kind of be like on the on the back side of the movie and we'll just kind of see them pop up at like near the end or something. Um, so I'm, I don't think the, the original cast members will be that big um, of they'll be that like they'll be that big of characters in the movie. I think they're going to take more of a side role in this one, and the new members are going to be the stars. Um, but we will see how it happens. Um, hopefully, they do a really good job with it. As the trailers have shown, I think it's going to I think it's going to be great. Um, it, it has to be great, or else you know there's going to be so many disappointments because the um, the you know new trilogy was not that great. So we really need something that's you know much better than that. It's got to beat the new trilogy. If it's worse than the new trilogy, then it, you'll know it's an absolutely horrible, horrible movie <laughs> trilogy. Um, hopefully, it does beat the new trilogy though, because that, that that was bad. You know, that was bad. Um, anyways, guys, let's move on to the next one. The next one is going to be Batman. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry, I did that a little bit too early. The next one I want to keep it up with uh, Star Wars. The next one's going to be Star Wars Battlefront 3. Now, if you have ever played the Battlefront games, you'll know that they are freaking awesome. They're great games. Um, I played them on the PlayStation 2 back when I had a PlayStation. I've actually still got mine. Um, and they were great games. Absolutely wonderful. Um, they were mainly just single player. Uh, I think that there was multiplayer if you had an Xbox original, but I'd ha- I had the um, the PlayStation 2, so I didn't have multiplayer on mine. Um so I would just play campaign and uh, and just skirmishes with my brother, and we played that so much. We got so good at that game, um, Battlefront One and Battlefront Two alike. And now they have announced another one. They announced this back um, last year, and uh, and um, I think around the fall time of of 2014 they announced it. Um, and they were in. Uh, it was came out at EA. I oh, no no EA is making this. I'm sorry. Yeah, EA is EA is making this game. And um, they are going to. I don't. It, it doesn't look like it's titled Battlefront Three. It just says Battlefront. But I'm guessing you know this is going to be Battlefront Three, obviously, since they've already come out with one and two. Anyways, um, I'm super excited for this game because I freaking loved Battlefront one and two. They were like basically all I played when I was younger. Um, before I got an Xbox 360, before I got Call of Duty, I played Battlefront one and two, uh, and then a, you know a handful of other games. But those are like those are like the, those two games are like my favorite games um, of all time back then, and they probably they probably still are some of my favorite games because they they were just really good. So I've been really excited. They actually had announced Battlefront three um, earlier, and then they canceled it. And then EA picked it up, and now they are making it again, which I'm really happy for. And the trailer looks awesome. The trailer looks, re- tra- the trailer looks really, really good. Like I said, these trailers will be in the description below. Just click on the links, and it'll take you to them. They're really great. You need to check them out. Um, there's really not too much to talk about this one, um, other than you know, just uh, I want to give you a little bit of history with me and Battlefront. Um, they're they uh, they look like they're going to be focusing on the Rebels and the Empire, whereas Battlefront 1 and 2 had the clones and the droids plus the Rebels and the Empire. So it was like a little bit of both. And it's also fitting that this game is coming out around the same time that the, um, or, or around, like, I think it's going to be after, after the movie comes out. So it's really cool that they're doing it like that. Um, anyways, guys, hopefully you check that game out because if you haven't played Battlefront 1 and 2, you are seriously missing out. Awesome game, awesome game. So definitely go check that out and tell me what you think about it. You know, I might post, uh, like the campaign on my channel because it looks awesome. I'll, I'll be getting it on the Xbox One. It looks awesome and I should be posting it on my channel. I, I don't, I don't know if I will, but I should be. That, that I mean, that's like, I, it's just, I owe it to society to put, to post this game because it's such a good game. Um, anyways, guys, let's move on to the next one. As you already know, because I kind of spilled the beans earlier, it'll be Batman versus Superman. So, Batman vs. Superman was announced, um, not too terribly long ago, actually. It's, it's still, um, it's still a relatively new idea, I guess. Um, and we've been wanting this, um, those of us who are DC Comics fan, or just comic fans, um, in general. I'm more of a DC fan than a Marvel fan for my own reasons. Um, anyways, guys, um, so I will be, I, you know, I, I've been hoping for this for a long time, ever since, you know, they came out with the cartoon version of this movie. I've been wanting a, a, a live action movie version of this, and so, um, I'm so happy that they were actually capitalizing on it and doing it. I think it's gonna be great now that the, now that the Superman movie has come out and all this has come out. Um, so I can't wait to watch this, and hopefully it is really good and doesn't let me down, and, uh, we'll get more into it, and... 
So Batman will be played by Ben Affleck, and Superman will be played once again by Henry Cavill, uh, or Cavill, I'm not sure which, what his last name is, um, but he played Superman in the last Superman movie, and um, that, that movie was kind of, it was okay, it was okay for, uh, to me, I didn't think it was all that great, um, I haven't really enjoyed in, any of the Superman movies, like, not even, like, the old ones, um, I just haven't really thought that they've done a really good job with Superman yet, I have enjoyed most of the Batman movies, though, um, I'm mostly a Batman fan more than anything, um, so I did really enjoy the Batman movies, um, and I'm not too sure what I think about Ben Affleck being Batman, because if you guys didn't know, he was, he played Daredevil in the movie Daredevil, and I thought he did terrible, I thought he did, like, a freaking absolute horrible job as Daredevil, now, I mean, I don't know if this was really him, or if it was just more the, 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 um, the writers, because the movie itself was, was, was just a bad movie, so I don't know if it was really him as Daredevil, or if it was just the movie that, and he was just kind of doomed from the start to be a bad role, um, it was as he will be playing Batman, there will also be Wonder Woman and Aquaman in this movie, I don't really know what purposes Aquaman and Wonder Woman will be serving, well, I guess Wonder Woman will be kind of a mediator, because she kind of, if you guys don't know, in DC Comics, she has a love interest with both Batman and Superman, so she might be a mediator between the two. And it, and I don't, really, I don't really know what Aquaman is doing here. I think he's just here because they're trying to set up the Justice League movie. That's what I think. I don't know if that's true or not, but what I believe is that they are trying to set up the Justice League movie, and they're doing what Marvel did, and they're doing standalone mo standalone movies for all the characters. And then they're going to release the big movie, like like Avengers, and this will be the Justice League, and this is how they're going to do it. Um. So I think that's the only reason Aquaman is really going to be in this movie. Um, but if you guys have ever played a game called Injustice, it was a fighting game like Mortal Kombat, but with DC comic characters. And it took the plot around it was Superman had become dictator of Earth after the Joker killed Lois Lane. And he turned evil and began like killing everyone and um, things like that, and became like the dictator of all the all the other superheroes. And Batman was like one of the lone people um, who was trying to fight off Superman, and he was staging a rebellion against Superman. So I think, and it looks like from the trailer, it looks like that's what's going to be happening here. It looked like Superman had been set up as a god. And um, people were starting to rebel against him, and almost like he'd become evil. And it shows Batman in a mechanized suit, like an Iron Man type suit with a robotic voice. It's really cool. Um, I feel like Ben Affleck can do okay with this part. I'm not a huge Ben Affleck fan, as I've already said, but I think that he can do okay with this part. I think that he can um, he can do some work with it. Hopefully, he doesn't screw it up. I hope I hope that it's awesome. Um, anyways, guys, um, the girl that plays. Um, Wonder Woman in this movie was actually play, played a part in Fast and Furious. She was one of the characters of Fast and Furious. Um, and so I think that she can do an okay job. I think that she was, I think she did okay in Fast and Furious. I think that she'll do okay in this movie. I don't think, I don't think she'll have a big role in this movie. I think she'll be kind of a, a minor character. And we'll just kind of see her in there as a cameo to set her up for the Justice League. Anyway, guys, anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoy this video. That's all the time I have. I wish I could make it longer, but I just really can't. I might do another one. This is just kind of my top three. Anyways, if you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Scarum. If you um, know what you're excited for, leave down in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next one.